What's going on, everybody? What's the what's the haps? Welcome back. Uh, the temperature in Florida. I'll check my phone right now. It is currently it's only eighty six right now. It feels like ninety. It says, and it's probably gonna rain soon. So. The Red Bull event, Thank where it's you. impossible to register decks, correct. And you can play a different deck every round if you'd like. So that should be fun. That should be a good time. Spaghetti Toucher, thank you so much for the resub. 16 months, that's good times, man. If sub months were years and years were Tano's bucks, I'd be 10 minutes into life. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's some crazy math right there. Yeah, but it was just, it was extremely hot up until, I don't know, 1.30 today, and it's now 3.30. Like, no, the guy left, the guy, the guy fixing the AC left at around 2. So, uh, about an hour and a half ago, and like, it's still, the thermostat still says 81 degrees. So, like, I can, Jake, is it snowing there? Is it snowing up in Utah? That, to me, that seems crazy in June. <clears throat> it's all over but the crying Remember that band, 98 Degrees? Is my internet working? Are you guys still here? Because uh, five out of eight players for like an hour now. I can join you if you like. Well, that's up to you. As long as we're not playing modern against each other. Because that's miserable. Also, this cat has been a real jerk today. When did you get a cat? Uh, I got a cat about, I don't know, eight years ago, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, they get along fine. Hunter's really, Hunter's, Hunter's pretty much used to him by now. You know, after the eight years. It's literally one of the emotes. Little Man is actually my cat's name? How dare you? How dare you take Little Man's name? I guess there can be two Little Mans. Six out of eight? What is even happening? Let's go, man. Four minutes in this fucking queue? All right, we did it. We did it. We, did we discuss this? Dang it. How did I forget? How did I forget our little man discussion? It's all over but the crying... <sighs> oh, that's a good one. Got that sissy. Sissy. Probably just gonna take Mana War. Mana is probably the strongest card in this pack, right? Frostwall is very good too, but I think it's just Mana War. You don't look two days over 36. That's good. 
that's good. I'll take that. Man of War. I think blue is one of the stronger colors in this format. I would also take Pondering Mage here. It's like a seven minute wait from Modern Horizons key, but Modern Horizons doesn't end until August. Yeah, it's really kind of weird. I thought I was like, but there's also 2,500 people in the queue or in the uh, in the league, so it's like, why why aren't you people joining and having a good time? I'm gonna take Pondering Mage. Now, we're gonna take. This is how drafts go. Every time, every 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 pack, you pick a new card. You guys know how drafts work, right? Come on, guys. Also, I'm dripping drink literally all over myself because I'm so thirsty that like I'm so like it's been so hot in here and I'm so like I don't want to say dehydrated I'm probably not dehydrated but like I need I need I need beverage I need I need hydration it's probably just string of disappearances how is ever dream I don't know it seems like trash DLE Coker, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know, this pack's pretty meh. I'm gonna take string, I guess. God, do we just mother bear? God, do we just always default to uh to blue green? It's so good. I like it a lot. I guess we can stick on color and just take the wind color even. Until something else comes along that's just better. Phantom Ninja? Alright. It's all over, but... Oh, exclude? That is a late exclude that I am more than willing to take. Uh, Astral Drift is also interesting at this point. We have Wind Call, Raven. Interesting. The problem is if you don't get your Astral Drift, then you end up with a bunch of, like, mediocre cycle cards. So I'm just going to stick with the uh, the sure thing. We did not do it. The blue cards are rough. Crows and Tusker is pretty good. I wonder how good Cunning Evasion is. Like, you can just bounce your Mana War and then bounce their guy. Or it's just, it's unblockable, right? Like, I wonder if this card's any good. I also believe in Stream of Thought. Maybe we just take this and just try to do Mill again. I don't know. I don't think there was anything in that pack that was really compelling me. In either direction. I want to take this wall of a thousand cuts. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. Hmm. Meh. Meh. So if you're going to do decoy, I guess. If we're... If we're white, either one of these, if we're not. Some of these cards are super exciting. Might just be Talisman. Another wall. That seems fine, actually. Cunning Evasion. Interesting. Talisman number dose. Fairy. And we're not necessarily white here. If we open some good ninjas, I'll just take the ninjas for sure. Well, there are not, not a single good ninja here. Abominable tree folk is pretty unbelievable, though. We have like zero snow perms yet though. Is that matter? Is that matter? Does that matter? There's also a pyrophobia and a goblin war party, which are both very good, but this guy is pretty nuts. Could just take another pondering mage too. Like this pack actually has a lot of options, but none are like they all have their issues. I think it's tree folk. This card's really good. I'm gonna take the tree folk. <clears throat> Chiller Pillar. Hmm. 
Winter's Rest. It also is. Yeah, it's early enough that I can take that guy and still recover. Another Pyrophobia? My god. My god. My goodness. Soul Render is great with Mana War, but it's also... It's also white. I guess we can take it. We're not committed to anything yet. I mean, I'd rather have the Chili Pillar to go with the Abdominal... Ab abdominal... Abdomin abominable... Wow, that was really hard. Wow, that was really difficult. But I also like Winter's Rest. Winter's Rest is probably better than Chiller Pillar here. It's just good removal. Oh, another Exclude? And a Frostwalla? I probably want Frostwalla here if we're taking this snow theme seriously. God, I always end up in the snow, but it's all right. It's fine. I'm okay with it. Snow-covered island. Four snow picks in a row. I'm game. Five snow picks in a row. The only thing I don't like about Astrolabe is that it's required. Uh, you need to have snow mana for it, and I would just rather take the snow mana. Yeah, all right. So this is this is nice. Three snow lands, a winter's rest, and a frost wall in a row. And another one. And these packs are not good. Like, we're not missing anything. So we're just taking, like, mono snow lands here. Still a literal nothing for us. So we can just te keep taking snow lands. <laughs> Told you it was still early. Hey, I didn't, I didn't doubt you for a second. Fountain Maker is fine. It lets us cast any of these other cards if we want to splash them. How many crabs have you come have have to come in the last pack to move to mill? I think three. <laughs> I think I would be comfortable with three. Uh this guy's actually great at this point. You shouldn't ever move to mill. Is that what you're saying? How dare you? How dare you? You think you know somebody and then they just like completely deny you your 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 mill tendencies. Oh boy. These packs are pretty rough. All those lands were all those packs were only had a snow land to pick. They still didn't have anything on the wheel, so. Double Knight of Old Banalia. We did not get that shiny island back, unfortunately. We might have we, we could have been able to take the island and then maybe the uh the forest comes back. Endling. Oh, that's exciting, but I can't take it. Iceberg Cancrix. Iceberg McCancrixerton. Oh, we already have a stream. Oh, I'm so tempted. The temptation is so real. The alternative is Chiller Pillar, right? We can't have the endling before the beginling. That's true. I literally ash shock my opponent, then command the Dread Horde to get their ash shock, and then command it again to get mine and kill my opponent. Yeah, see? That's good times. Iceberg can't crooks it is. I always want to take this, and I don't. I think it's just because it's a big mythic that has high stats in all the areas. I'm like, oh, it's a mythic. It's a six six. It's got a bunch of text, but I really don't think it's that good. I think Frostwalla is very good. However, Kitty Cat, you just need to stop. I like a Moonblade Shinobi too. Good Fortune Unicorn is nice, but like it's the only color we can't splash. We have a red and a black off of Talisman. So you have a, a Fountain. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Maybe we 
Moonblade Shinobi seems fine here. Get it? Why not try? What are you saying? What are we, what are we saying? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, I do like a Reign of Revelation. Pretty easy picks here. Not really competing with anything. I do like a Marasa Behemoth. But our deck doesn't really have a ton of ways to get things into the graveyard, right? I guess we could discard with Reign, but that's pretty much it. Oh, the, the, oh, the Mythic. Alright, so it's not looking good for our Iceberg Cancrix. I'm having a regret. Oh, Force of Negation. Another Ice Hide Golem, huh? Smoke Shroud is decent, but we only have two ninjas, so I'm not like super on. We already have a Tree Folk Umbra. Force of Negation might not be terrible. Just actually just play it as a counter spell. I'm gonna go with Ice Hide Golem. Oh, another Phantom Ninja. That's nice. Bellowing Elk is actually fine. I am starting to sound like a Cant Crix. Rightfully so, I think. I could see playing one of these Talismans, especially if we get a way to Splash. How do we just always end up in blue-green? I feel like I'm always leaning towards the blue-green. I don't know if it's intentional or not. I think it just kind of works out that way, but you know, it's like a tornado. Meh. Yikes. <laughs> We're like one playable shot. This is actually one of the rougher drafts we've done, I think. And that says something. That's a yikes for me, dog. I'm just going to try the Amorphous Axe. With two Phantom Ninjas and uh, Fairy Seer, it's actually not that bad. We are going to probably... T I guess we just play the Cancrix and just hope to get there, maybe? But if, like, then don't we want to play stream as well? I don't know. I don't know. I think this is actually fine. I mean, this is just a guy to block on the ground while we're, like, attacking with Phantom Ninjas and Fairy Seers and stuff. This is 11, seven, 11, 6, 10, 7. I mean, I think I still want 9, 8. Like, I just don't think we need that much blue. Famous last words. All right, let's see what happens. There's a fire truck outside. Yeah, this hand's keepable. Would like a snow mana, but any idea when you think you'll play this weekend in the Red Bull? Uh, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. on Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, 
I'm going to bottom both of these. We don't have a second blue for the Phantom Ninja, and we don't really need the six drop bird yet, so. Wow, that was aggressive. <clears throat> Gets the round one to side. Yeah, we don't need the screen anymore. Oh, that was a good hit. So now we have both of these online. We're going to just run out Phantom Ninja here because we can't actually pump this guy anyway, so. I'd rather both A, save this guy until we can pump him, and B, uh, I guess that's it. I guess there's just an A. Wow. All right. You're doing good. Now we just get to eat this guy if they don't have removal. That's pretty cool. I guess they get to firebolt it post combat, but sure. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I will definitely be streaming. It is a streamed event, and I will be recording for YouTube, I believe. I can't imagine not. Well, I wish we had more snow mana at this particular point, but this is a 3-3, and we get to tap down, like, this guy. That does not seem terrible. pass here actually we probably could have attacked I think it'd been fine but Seems good. Jeez. Ugh, come on, really? You're killing me, Smalls. Well, that's obnoxious. Sometimes you just have multiple pyrophobias and firebolts, I guess. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? I mean, they just played the Bogard and Hellkite. They sack a guy, they attack for three, four gets through. I guess we can double block the other guys. Oh, they just have a resist rage. Cool. That must be nice. That seems like it's gotta be pretty nice, right? <sighs> what do we got? Five snowlands? I expected we'd Hit more than one, but here we are. I almost like Tree Folk Umbra here just because it's. Just because it feels pretty decent against the uh, mono three, two, and three damage dot deck. Yeah, that seems fine.
really don't even like playing Frostwall out here. Seems pretty rough. Seems good. Wow, that's a lot of golems. Goblins, not golems. I don't know why I said golems there. Oh, it's old Icy Boy. Icy Berg McCancrix. Strong. Um, bottom you. Yeah, neither of these are great on this board. And Firebolt, because they never don't have that as your last card. Thank you. Let's go fast, go. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yeah, we just have no way to deal with these guys. This is actually pretty terrible. If this guy's a 4 4 and they fight. What are our options? Like, they just go sack one, two, three. They end up with two one ones. They'll probably sack another one. They'll have a one one, a five five, and a one four. I mean, I think that's probably our best option because next turn we can Winter's Rest. Let's see if they want to sack four things. So that seemed to work, interestingly enough. <sighs> I 
hate trading a phantom ninja for half of a putrid goblin but I mean like what are our options god firebolt is so good like they can just attack with a 2-2 we block with Avon and then they get to kill it off or they just go nap it and kill us I'm sure Four, five, six. We go to three with a firebolt in their graveyard. Yeah, that seems that seems pretty reasonable. Wow, double magmatic sinkhole is what we milled. Jesus. And I'm just waiting to mill another firebolt here, and we did. So they literally have lethal now. All right, well. I mean, it's either that or they draw, right? So, like, I mean, it's not like it's... We're not... Yeah, sure. Firebolt, Firebolt, Magmatic Sinkhole, Magmatic Sinkhole, Urza's Rage. Okay, well, sure. Some decks you're just not meant to beat, I think. So, let's actually take the Cunning Evasion out for the stream, just in case we're, like, playing... I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I'm going to blow my nose, though, because I feel like I have to do that. So, don't go anywhere. Hold on. Okay, welcome back. This hand is fantastic. Oh, we're playing against MTG. Good times. Magic players are so weird. Like, you know who you're playing against. Like, there's so many times where I play against people I know, and you just don't say anything to each other, and it's so weird to me. I have to sneeze. Man, sneezing and blowing my nose. This is like a... <coughs> it's like a natural noise stream. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's just play this guy. What is it? 4-4? Four, four? One, two, three, four. That's pretty good. See, this, this version of our deck is pretty good, where it actually does all these snow things. Yep, that's a big boy. Natural Noise Stream is the name of my experimental electronic album. That's the name of the album? That's good. What's the name of your your experimental electronica outfit? I 
we we did good there. I don't think we're gonna board anything in. We really see much to to deal with. I will keep this hand. Do you know anything about predetermined archetypes and drafts? By I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure how you mean. I mean, when they design sets, they design them with draft archetypes in mind. That's not like that's not like secret information or anything. Uh, I have not taken enough look at uh at the M20 cards to know for sure. Well, that's four damage. I mean, the snow deck is an archetype. The mill deck is an archetype. There's black red. There's a black red sacri sacrifice archetype. Like you can just, you can just tell from the from the form after playing it. So, uh, so, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Is this when it leaves the battlefield or dies? When it dies? Okay, good. Xander, how you doing, buddy? I'm going to bounce this guy. There is blue white robs mom.co. That's correct. That is an archetype. Blue black ninjas is an archetype. Yeah, I mean, like, they're not like, they don't, the archetypes aren't like, they're not subtle. Like, they, they're very obvious. You just look for the, there's like commons and uncommons. <laughs> oh, that's good. Reckless charge. There's commons and uncommons, like, that are specifically, look for the, look for the gold cards. If you see gold cards in the set, usually there are gold cards that are focused on the themes. Like there's a blue black, there are several blue black ninjas. There is a black, there is a red green card that has to do with lands, right? There's several of them, right? Like ruin, ruin raider, ruination raider, whatever that guy's called, and like Ren and six, right? So like, there's a lot of land matters cards in red and green, you know. So I mean, like you just have to look at the archetypes. You look at the look at the colors. Like there's a green black sacrifice got like a uh, munitions expert or whatever that guy is. Like there's a lot of cards that are like the gold cards typically tell you what the archetypes are. That's usually how it goes. I'm spilling wa I'm spilling water all over myself. I don't even care. I just want to get so much, so much beverage in myself. Oh, Yola Tango is fantastic. This is actually my first time drinking. I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring it up, but the jig is the jig is clearly up. Oh. By C. Going to six is no bueno. Man, I would love a way to deal with this, but uh... 
Wow, you consider that drinking semi-successfully? That's rough. Uh, not having drawn the card in over 25 games, it's not statistically impossible. It's definitely statistical. It's 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 unlikely. Yep. Yep. Hmm. So they go fairy, they go reckless charge. I don't think they can also one, two, three. Yeah, they can also equip, so. We just have to get wind color even out, I guess. Um actually phantasmal form does help. All right, Let's see if we're dead. One down. Reckless charge and go to one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, four, no, wait, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can actually deal thirteen here. That's so sad. We can play this, but if they have any answer to it, then we're just dead to this guy. Whereas this gives us two outs. I think we play Phantom Ninja. We block and lose a guy, but... They also don't have to equip either, so... They could just have Firebolt too, and we'd just be dead, so... So we, this would be a 3-3. Three, three. This would be 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? Yeah, so we just don't have it. And we know we're drawing Phantom Ninja, but we also got a new draw next turn because of Phantasmal Force. They always have Firebolt, though, so I'm not like convinced I have any sort of chance of living here. Oh, boy. Uh, this is like three goat naps in the past two rounds. I literally just killed myself. Oh, we could have also cycled this guy to get flying. That would have been good, too.
This is a matchup where like I would actually play a, probably a Weather the Storm if I had one. And times never felt so good. Some person said 30 minutes outside of screen. Until someone sings a ship without Rob's mom. Oh, man. This chat is... Uh... This chat is something else right now. No, the reason I didn't draft much war was because war came out and then like a week and a half into war drafts, um, then vintage cube came out and then I vintage cube draft for like the, in the entire month it was available. That's, that's basically what happened. So it wasn't, it wasn't because of war. It was literally because vintage cube was out. Haji Gulashi, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I will keep this hand. Turn one seer and a turn two axe into turn three attack for four seems pretty decent. I love cube drafting. Didn't you, Mike, were, didn't I turn you on to cube drafting? Didn't you, weren't you like completely like, not like opposed to it, but like you were a little reserved to, to dive into the cube drafting arena? Yeah, so that was the only reason like we didn't cube draft more was because, um, so or we didn't we didn't war draft more was because the the format just like was literally cut off two weeks into it by the vintage queue, which is really weird. I wonder if we just see a trade here. That would be interesting. I'm just gonna pass with exclude up though. This guy, 2 2. Unimpressive. But next turn we can play Ice Hide Golem. Look at that tiny little guy. Look at that bigger guy. Oh, wow. Look at us. That was a perfect sequence right there. Put these things in the trash can, my friend. That seems good. I think that's fine. I think we take four. Oh, 
All right. Do you bounce something? Do you bounce this flyer and then attack for like a thousand? Feels correct. Shut up and take my money. Hey, two Exodus, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Let's pop you on here. I guess we're just going to keep the snowman up, right? That seems. So what is this, 9, 10, 11? We'll put you to 2. I think that's actually great. Triple Goblin Champion in this trash can. That's a lot of Goblin Champions. All right, that'll do. That'll do. All right, round three. Let's see if we can 2-1 this bad boy. This bad Larry. Uh, was that Ring? I have no idea, actually. Solid question. Shut up and take my money. Just need to offset the volume with these odd numbers. Yes. Excellent. Oh, here we go. Now we're now we're can crixing all over the place. Ooh, they went to six. They're so dead. Oh, I like having two uh two lands to play before our snow lands. Ooh, turn three, we get to mill for four. Oh baby, that's where I want to be right now. Oh, we get to play that guy too. Oh my god, we get to mill for six next turn. What? Oh my god. I can barely handle it. buddy no we get to mill for four next turn next turn would be six actually i'm tempted to just keep exclude up here like we haven't they have no pressure <gasps> oh that's a good hit oh man that's a good hit yeah that's fine Well, it's going to be like a three drop here. Or not. You don't have to deal with threats if they're in the garbage can. That's correct. Threats in the garbage can. Man, Onerophage? God, we're just we're getting all the hits here. Wow, Giver of Runes, Onerophage, and Sarah. These are gonna do some solid hits here, boys. Mm. 
You got it. Okay. I mean, we're just gonna keep exclude up. Like, I have, I know it's, we're, we're, it's pretty telling that we play this post combat and don't quit. But I mean, if you want to prohibit it, that's fine. I don't know what they're doing actually. This is very strange. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You got it. Okay, now this is nice. I guess we're gonna play Frosted Wally. They have six cards in hand. It's a lot. They do only have four lands though, so. Oh my god, Reign of Revelation when we're trying to mill you out? Is it getting hot in here? Do I care about Eye Kite? Not really. See, I'm just going to exclude this because we have a hand. We, I just want to play my things. The Pondering Mage art is very, very good, yes. I agree with you. Um, I don't think any of these are things I care about. I'd rather just shuffle and see what happens. Like, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So at 9, we can do this 3 times and mill 12 cards when they have 14 cards left. Okay, talisman. It's a lot of color fixing here. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven mana total. Yeah, that guy's good. So, so they're gonna go to thirteen cards. We're gonna mill them for probably a hundred. All right, next time we mill for 12, they go to one card, and then they have to win with that one card. Unless we somehow lose. 
Oh boy, now they're just dead. Oh, they just died. That seems good. Wow, we ha we did manage to mill them out. That's hilarious. I guess Phantom Ninja bites the dust. Yeah, that's fine. Herman Miller. Wow, that's great. That's fantastic. I wish my stream was sponsored by Herman Miller. Then my chair would cost a lot less. Choose target player, replicate twice. Thank you. Okay. Same target, same target. Okie dokie. Just the exclude. Get to take a look at your whole deck now. That's pretty cool. Oh, we just, there you go. Shelter, Scour on Possibilities, Factor Fiction. Huh. So the only card we like, these are, this is the only like two threats that we're actually really concerned with. That's interesting. And I guess Onerophage and Sarah. So I kind of want Thornado because we've seen multiple flyers that we actually care about. Times never felt so good. Um, what can we cut? Clearly not the mill cards. I'm just going to run it like this. I'm watching on my phone and watching your mill draft on YouTube. Oh god, this is this is too much. The pressure is too real. I might need a haircut. Um, yeah, I don't hate this hand. Fascinating. You should stream your haircut it may go viral maybe probably not though it's not too bad yet okay good okay good oh that's great because next turn we can moonblade shinaboy i'm gonna put you on the bottom i think you're fine to keep <laughs> got a handful of three drops here but that's nice because next turn we can go shinobi and then turn four we can replay this and like ninja how big a donation to have mike cut your hair god it's gotta be like Five hundred dollars. You're basically asking how big of a donation to have you look like a friggin' idiot for the next two months, month and a half, till the hair grows back. Does Mike have any experience cutting hair? No, no, he does not. Oh, Onerophage. Uh, 
This is dumb. We bounce this. They give this pro blue. That's annoying. Wow, double ice hide golem? Jeez. I don't think we want either of these, to be honest, but that just means we're going to draw land, I'm sure, so... Oh, wow, they did not give pro blue. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I'm a fan of that. I just got most of that ninjutsu deck. Yeah, I did the same thing. I got a bunch of them right here, actually. I got four of the Miss Nagas, Miss Syndicate Nagas, four Fallen Shinobis. Good times never felt so good. This is an alpha. This is an alpha. Yep. I'll put five on the hair cutting street. This was not, just to be clear, I did not agree to this. This was just a tentative. Uh... Okay, that's pretty good. They get to bounce something of their own. And then we get to bounce another thing. What do they bounce? This? Who cares about that? Then they block here. They take one, two, three, four, five. They go to two. And then Phantom Ninja just kills them next turn. That seems good. Pro blew it. We went to we went to target this, but we're I think we're still fine. Oh, wow. I didn't think that was going to work. No! Gross. Ugh, gross. I couldn't watch Frank Tiger run, but I would for the good of the memes. Wow. Wow, that seems rough. Good lord. So they have one flying blocker and we have three flying creatures. I'm no math expert. Oh. Um, interesting. Did we win? I don't know what blue card there is that could stop two of these. I guess choking tethers, cycle choking tethers taps one. I am def I'm definitely aware that memes are your life for sure. Oh, we just win the game. 2-1, two, two, not bad. Not bad. That first round was pretty much a bloodbath, but uh, the other two rounds, not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on uh, manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code in the description for 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And you can check me out at coolstuffinc.com where an article went up just yesterday about a sweet Sultai Snow Ninja deck. So definitely check that out in Modern. And uh, you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. So check those things out. Really appreciate it, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, as I mentioned. I will see you next time.